We're also following another deadly shooting this time in Florida, where a gunman opened fire at a yoga studio in Tallahassee last night. The man killed two people and injured five more before turning the gun on himself. CNN's Diane Gallagher has been following this for us, and so I understand, Diane, that some of the people at the yoga studio tried to take this gunman down. They fought for their lives. They fought back. I mean, you can only imagine, you think of yoga, you think of this tranquility and peace and, and that relaxation. Mm. Um, this is a hot yoga studio. When they say when that gunman came in and opened fire, police say that people, the students in that class, attempted to take him down. They tried to fight back. According to officers, though, uh, by the time they got there, he had turned the gun on himself uh, and, and killed himself. That is 40-year-old Scott Beerley. Uh, they're still working to figure out the connection between him and that yoga studio. Before he killed himself, he shot six people. He pistol whipped another. Two of those people died. 21-year-old Mora Binkley and 61-year-old Nancy Van Nessum, both uh, associated with Florida State University, which is located right there in Tallahassee. Nancy Van Nessum, a doctor, well-respected in the community. We have seen a hospice speak out about how wonderful mm. she was for them and what a pleasure she was to be around mm. the university as well. And Maura, again, a student there, her sorority, Tri-Delta, I just want to read you real quick something oh. they wrote on their Facebook. They said, as a leader in the chapter, Maura embodied the Tri-Delta woman, brave bold and kind wow and i know this has touched and shocked yeah. so many in the community and and really in a state that has been dealing with so much in this past year in terms of you know mass shootings yep. from parkland uh you know to uh to orlando mm -hmm. more than a year ago and then of course earlier in this year you know in jacksonville, jacksonville. Mm -hmm. so all of this taking place i mean uh, you know while you've got these campaigns mm -hmm. that are in uh you know uh, in, in full speed right now, yeah. just days ahead of the I mean, midterm. Three days away at How this do these point? candidates handle it? So the fact that this happened in Tallahassee, I think, provided, it made it even, even more serious right. because Andrew Gillum is the mayor of Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. He's running as the Democratic candidate to be governor. Mm -hmm. Of course, Rick Scott is a governor. His governor's mansion is located there in Tallahassee mm -hmm. as well. He's running as a Republican nominee to be a senator. Both of them went immediately to Tallahassee, uh, pausing campaign activities mm -hmm. at that point. Andrew Gillum was at a show up for Shabbat service in South Florida mm -hmm. when he got word of the shooting and came out there. Uh, he did go back into his, uh, his campaign mode a little bit ago, mm -hmm. and he said after speaking to some of the victims in the hospital, both Rick Scott and Andrew Gillum went mm -hmm. together last night to do that. He said that one woman was shot nine different times. Oh Another woman had a bullet that went straight through her body. Wow. And he said that one of them pulled him aside and said, you've got to do something about this gun violence. Wow. Um, again, that was today back on the campaign trail. Rick Scott had events that were scheduled this morning, but uh, he has not attended those. So it appears that he is still at least abstaining from that mm -hmm. right now, working on this. Again, they do not know what connected him to this yoga studio. Mm. So law enforcement, FBI agents, local and state are mm -hmm. still investigating and working this through and you have two people who remain in the hospital right now all right keep us posted on the investigation thank you thank you so much diane gallagher